Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back today for some more Formula 122, my team career mode. Uh, this is part 24 and we are in Austria this time out. If you guys have not watched the last video, be sure to hit the link up top and go watch that before I get into any spoilers. But it was a very uh, catastrophic race, as the title indicates. Uh, we started on pole, and we got very unlucky with a few safety cars and uh, poor strategy. And then we dropped all the way down into like P17 or something like that, with a few laps uh, left to go. And then we made our way up the grid into P8. Uh, luckily, with a few incidents at the wall of champions. But we are in Austria, we got a sprint race this weekend, so the qualifying part here is going to be a little quick. At the end of Q1, on our second flying lap, we put up a 104.5, and that is going to be good enough for P12, which isn't great heading into Q2. Sebastian Vettel also only in P10. Second flying lap here in Q2, we're on the soft tires, our first flying lap only puts us up into p12 this is giving me similar vibes as well to i guess what happened last year in austria we started at the back of the grid that was more due to engine penalties but we started at the back of the grid and then with the sprint race and the grand prix we made it into p2 uh the ai i don't know why but they're super cracked in qualifying with their one lap pace here is insane i have no uh, aspirations of keeping up with them because they are so fast but we do put up a purple sector one on our second flying lap three tenths up fly a little wide through turn seven we're three tenths up on the previous lap green at sector two i guess that's probably where i struggle the most sector one isn't too bad it's pretty simple it's only like two or three turns but uh through the final corner four tenths up and we are out in q2 it's gonna be a p11 we miss out by a few thousandths or few hundredths sorry of a second but let's get into this sprint race and let's see if we can uh, repeat what we did last season and make our way up the grid starting from p11 it's responding normally make sure to warm up the tires and brakes warm the tires and brakes throughout the lap please all right so we're here for the second sprint race of the season our first sprint race was in Imola. And if you guys are up to date on the series, you guys know what happened there. If not, uh, you can either go check it out, or I will tell you right now, it did not go well. We had a DNF, gearbox failure, after pitting because uh, Leclerc and Tickdom took out our front wing. But we're starting in P11 in this sprint race. After an early exit in qualifying, we just missed out on Q3. And to be honest with you, I'm not super worried because of what happened last season in Austria, which was actually worse than this. Uh, we had a few engine penalties, which means we had to start at the back of the grid. And for the sprint, we had to start at the back of the grid, but we finished the weekend in P2. So that tells me that the AI are pretty cracked on one lap pace here in Austria, but their race pace isn't the greatest. So. Hopefully we can work our way up this grid. Sebastian Vettel's up in P7. He didn't have the greatest qualifying either. So we're going to see what we can do as a team. Hopefully we can both work our way up this grid. Both getting the points and uh, maybe even one or two podiums would be fantastic. As we approach the grid here, getting ready for this sprint race. But here we go for the Austrian sprint race. We got five red lights and this race is underway here. And looks like we got a good getaway. Uh, we don't take on any positions. We're not losing any. Oh my goodness. A lot of traffic. Through turn one. Doesn't look like any debris. No crashes. As we try to get into the points here. Uh, Sebastian Vettel. I don't see him either. No updates on him right now. I'm going to take it nice and easy. Ooh, maybe we could squeeze through this Alpine here. And that's the bad oak on. And we take P10. We're in the points now. Kind of squeezed him out there. Norris fighting ticked him up ahead. He was able to pass Norris. Oh, and I see a little bit of a debris. That might have been Dan Tickdom hitting the back of Lewis Hamilton. Which means that Dan Tickdom could possibly be pitting this lap. As one of the Alpines trying to fight back. 
Like, great, and now we got side pod damage. Oh my gosh. So we got, uh, not side pod damage, underfloor damage, which is going to affect our downforce, but we're going to carry on here. Not much we could do. As I was saying, in the... What is that? We got a virtual safety car. So we got a virtual safety car. We just hit Lando because he slammed on the brakes in order to get under the Delta. No wing damage though, so we carry on. Uh, we're in P9 because Dan Tickdom has dove into the pit, so he's at the back of the grid now. And getting wing damage in this sprint race will be horrible because then our race is rude. We're not pitting at all. We're on the medium tires from start to finish. I don't think we have to pit. And if we do, then that's a glitch in the game as Lando runs wide. Allows us to close the gap on him. Why is he going so slow? Did he lose a piece of his wing? Does he have no front wing right now? He's going very slow through the turns. We've got to be careful here. Yeah, so he's diving into the pit. We're going to run wide here. Just because we don't want to hit him. I don't understand why that pit lane is parked right on the apex of the penultimate corner. Uh, that's what I was going to say on the last lap. But uh, there was a lot going on. Yeah, so we're on lap 7 now. And the underbody damage definitely is taking a little bit of lap time out of us, especially down through turns 4 and 5. Uh, but it's not too bad, and actually, we are still catching the car at a few tenths per lap. Uh, last lap, I think we were close to 4 seconds. Uh, oh my god, no, you're lying, Mark. Mark, stop. Please, man. Please. No. Okay, we're heading on to the last lap here. Just gotta make it to the end of this sprint race. That helicopter did a complete 180. Holy. Um, but yeah, we are catching Hamilton. We lost a little bit of time due to myself starting to panic a little bit. But with that floor damage, we were still able to catch up to Hamilton or not catch up to him but if we had a few more laps we would have caught up to him um, so we should be in a good position to do well in the Grand Prix as we approach the penultimate corner here George Russell takes the sprint win so he's gonna secure eight points there and we are actually gonna secure one point for the team I think Sebastian Vettel will get three or four points so uh, decent all right so what I decided to do at the very last moment was uh, switch out the MG UK so we've got a brand new MG UK in the car right now which uh, for some reason I can't show can I no I cannot but we got a new MG UK in the car it was at 67% and Mark was saying that there was an issue I'm not taking any more risks, okay? I don't want to DNF in another race. Um, so, we put a new one in, which means we're starting at the back of the grid, unfortunately. So, it's going to be quite tough to uh, get into the top five. Maybe we're going to start on the hard tires. And we're going to stay on these tires for as long as possible. We're going on a one-stop strategy. Um, it looks like some of the drivers might be doing a two-stopper. Because Dan Tictum is on the softs, and Lando is also on the softs. So either they're extending the life on those soft tires as best they can, or they're doing a two-stopper. Alright, here we go. For the Austrian Grand Prix. we got five red lights, and this race is underway here. Now, being on the hard tires, we're obviously not going to get the greatest start. But we're in P22, so not really expecting too much. I was gonna see if I can sneak around the inside there. Oh my, we have a horrible exit out of turn one, and now we're way down in last place. Let's see how long we can. Uh... We have a big lock up into turn three. Kind of have to slam on the brakes there. Everyone's caught in this traffic. I got a collision with Sonoda. I don't think I touched them. Maybe I did. I didn't feel anything though. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Oh, we got a yellow. Holy crap, what was that? What just happened? 
Holy, what a save! Oh my, I almost slammed into the back of Yuki Sonoda! He slammed on the brakes, Schwartzman out of the session. But because of that, we gained, I think, four spots into the last turn there. We overtook Sonoda, we overtook Latifi, uh, Magnuson, and uh, Schwartzman, who's unfortunately out of the session for Alfa Romeo. But this is nice. We're in uh, P18 now, still got a lot of work to do. Gasly's going for the move on Piastri and not Aston Martin. Always some sort of incident here. Gotta be careful. Oh, look at that. We're gonna get DRS here. Get the overtake done on Gasly. Trying to go for the move on Piastri, and it kind of costs him. Nice move. Good job. Almost slammed it to the back of Piastri this time. Gonna have DRS again. Gasly also has DRS. We're in a DRS train now. We're up in P17. Oh, and more debris flying all over the place. I'm not sure who that was. You guys probably see that up on the broadcast cam. But someone is going to be diving into the pits most likely. Maybe two if we're lucky. Well, it might be Dan Tictum. He looks a little slow at the moment. Dan Tictum, not the greatest weekend for him. If he does have to dive into the pit lane, he did do that in the sprint race. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Dan Tictum. Runs wide on turn six. Is that turn five? I think it's turn six, if I'm not mistaken. But runs wide. Let's see. Is he going to the pits? Yeah, he's going to the pits. Okay, like he's going to park the bus on the freaking apex, which I don't understand. Why do they have it there? Oh, run wide on the last corner. We're going to have the DRS on Piastri. He has DRS too, but he is slipping out of DRS range, maybe? No, I think we're both still in DRS range. As Grady Joe gets a move done on Norris, it looks like there might have been a little bit of contact. Piastri with no DRS. We're going to get the move done on him, move up into P15, see if we can dive down the inside on Lando, get the uh, double overtake done. Oh my gosh, we almost have, uh, almost have contact. Put up on purple sector one, we have the DRS on him again, use the battery, get past him, into P14. Ever got whittle wheel with Lando. All the way through turn six. And we're going to take the position. We're going to clear him. Take P14. We got Grady Joe up next. I love Austria, man. Every single time I've done an Austria video, it's always, always been a good race. And we're into P14. We got a better exit than Schumacher. Going to get him. Let's see if we can get the double overtake once again. Going in to uh, turn three here. Take a look up the outside this time. Got a better exit than uh, Lance Stroll. So that's another double overtake going into turn uh, turn three. Actually, it's not really a double overtake because we overtook uh, Schumacher in turn two. But it's not really a turn. It's more of a straight. I don't know. It's very confusing. Oh, but Lance Stroll's coming back at us here. Trying to leave him a little bit of space to the inside. Don't want any contacts. We don't want more underfloor damage like we had in the sprint race. Albon's in P10. We are catching him very quickly. And then we got Lewis Hamilton in P9. Doesn't look like he's having the greatest of races so far. But we're not even halfway through this race yet. We might get Alex Albon into the next corner here. We're going to go for it. Go around the outside. Trying to squeeze me out a little bit on the grass. Catching some dirt on those tires. Wants us to run wide. A little bit of a lockup too into the final corner. Albon's gonna have DRS, but I don't know if the Williams has the power to catch us. In this lap, in this lap, push now. So we're boxing this lap. Um, I'm gonna see if maybe I can let Vettel just squeeze by me. I don't want to get in his way. We need him to be uh, catching up to the grid. We're on different strategies. Front is three if he does seconds. get close, I'll try to let him pass here. Come on, Vettel. Hurry up. Okay, well, I guess he's not passing at the moment. 
we're going to bots, and it looks like we're gonna probably come out around the two McLarens, maybe? Possibly behind them. Um, I'm not sure how long the entire pit time is. Crap, I'm really in battle's way now. Okay, go, go, go. Go. I don't want to get in the way of your final turn. Okay, but here we go into the pit lane. Oh, oops. Hopefully. We got a good pit stop here. Uh, okay, never mind. The McLaren's are definitely going to pass us by the time we get to uh, or be get back into the race. Okay, not a bad pit time. So it looks like well, we might be coming out with the McLaren here. So we're coming on fresh mediums. Most people are on hard tires, so we will have a little bit of an advantage until the tires start to drop off at around maybe lap 30. So we got like 8-ish laps of a major tire advantage here. We are right on Lando's gearbox. Taking it nice and easy, we're going to get him going in turn 1. We'll run wide on the last corner. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough juice to get him here. Uh, actually, we might. We're going to have to go wide to the outside, leaving lots of space. And we're going to get through into the points. We also got the fast slap. And uh, we got DRS. So Lando, going to leave him in the dust. Work our way up towards Signs, who is about four and a half seconds in front of us at the moment. And then he's five tenths behind. Lewis Hamilton, and uh, it's either Esteban Ocon or Fernando Alonso. We're on lap 33 now. We're about to overtake Carlos Sainz. Uh, we finally caught up with them after managing our fuel for so long, but with how many laps left, uh, it's time to empty the tank here and make up these places to gain an extra point. We do have the fastest lap as well, being on those medium tires. Lewis Hamilton down in P8. I don't know how he's having such a bad race. George Russell, I think he's on the podium right now, if I'm not mistaken. But we got to be careful of our fuel here. We have just over a tenth of a lap left in the tank. So hopefully, this will get us to the end of the race when we're pushing at 100%. Um, but we'll see. It's going to be an interesting finish. Unfortunately, we're not looking at a podium or anything, which is very sad. But given the fact that we started down in P22, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with what we were able to do today in Austria. But the job is not done yet. We still have DRS. We're still chasing down Hamilton. Still chasing down Esteban Ocon. Sebastian Vettel is comfortable in P5. I'm trying to see, maybe I can take a look down the inside. Lap 35, right on Hamilton's gearbox, one tenth of a second. We have the DRS, we've got 60% battery, we've got the fresh medium tires. And then we got Ocon setting a little bit of a roadblock as we ride over the curb. But we got past Hamilton, we're into P8 now. And in the last three laps, we have gained, I think, four or three extra points for the team. Deep into turn three once again. Ooh, this is going to be tight. We need to catch Ocon right now. One tenth of fuel left. I was able to save a bunch by just coasting it to turn three on the previous lap. That's going to give us everything we need to try and get P7 here. Secure another point or two for the team. Sebastian Vettel is doing his job today. He's going to finish ahead of me. On to the final lap here. It's going to be a nice, quick little showdown. Between Esteban Ocon and I, trying to decide what corner to shove me into. But that's not going to work as we take the position, kind of shove him wide there. And we're in P7. Alonso's in P6, but he is 10 seconds ahead of us, so we're definitely not catching him. And it looks like it's going to be a P7 teammate status. 
to your teammate ahead is 20.1 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tires. They're currently fifth. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 07.0. Yeah, so Sebastian Vettel in P5, Max Verstappen takes the win here. Uh, and he might be in the lead of the Drivers' Championship now. Championship. Didn't receive that. Repeat uh, the message. Oh my god, Repeat Mark. Uh, where am I going to be, Mark? Where am I going to be? Got that. Confirmed. No. Okay, never mind. We'll find out after the race here. But through the final turn. Uh, not bad. Sorry for P20. 22. That's going to be 15 spots we gain. We better get driver of the day because of that. Uh, let's see. P7. Sebastian Vettel P5. So, I mean, we both finished. But we'd like to finish higher. Yeah, driver of the day. Awesome. I mean, it's the best we could do. I would have rather take that P7 than risk uh, keeping that MGUK in the car and it fails and then we get no points, which would have been horrible. We also got the fastest lap, so that's an extra point for myself and Cyborg Porsche. So we got Max Verstappen taking the top step of the podium, Charles Leclerc in P2, and George Russell in P3. Decent weekend for Cyborg Porsche again would like it to be better. I'm fortunate I'm just thinking about last weekend now another blown opportunity for the team uh, Today kind of a of a blown opportunity. I probably should have replaced the MG UK before the race But I did the quick practice session. So I think that takes a little bit more wear out of the engine components but that keeps me in p6 for the drivers championship we are down 50 points on or 52 points on charles leclerc uh 51 on max verstappen still a lot of racing left we're approaching the halfway point of the season uh very soon and then in the constructors i think we moved up a spot in front of alpine into p5 uh, down 70 points to Red Bull. That is still recoverable because it's two drivers. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. I'm still aiming to try and get a Constructors by the end of the season. We just need some luck in this back half of the season. However, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. As always, if you watch up to this point, be sure to drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, we are actually at the halfway point of the season now as we head to the French Grand Prix, the Paul Ricard circuit. We're gonna see what we could do, try and make our way up the constructor standings, try and make our way up the driver standings after this horrible first half of the season. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.